Uh, this effort is being organized by the Rapid Response Network, which is a collective of different uh, people that have been working against uh, immigration rates in the San Bernardino Rural Side area. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. The gospel. And today, like each and every other day, the lesson for the taking is, if you want to go to heaven, you've got to change your ways and lesson, drinking, dancing, drugs, and sex for fun. And don't forget that homosexuality is immorality and a surefire ticket to hell and then some. And I hear, God loves all the little children, all the children of the world, until the children grow up to be adults who question the validity and supremacy of Christianity. <laughs> Why don't we talk about the history of religious ideology used to justify the conquering, destroying, and killing of people, cultures, and land that was believed to be better off in Christian and Catholic hands, and I hear, this is the day, this is the day that God has made, that God has made for men. <laughs> to rule over women, this is the day women are blamed for the fall of all humankind, and you can find that in the Bible where Eve brings evil to the Garden of Eden. This is the day in which the Gospel saying, never trust a woman, gives men the sense that women need to be controlled in mind and body, and I hear the irony of God is love and God hates gays. And of do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Well, some men are encouraged to subdue us women. And like Qué linda te ves, corriendo de aquí para allá, persiguiendo tu ansia de ser mujer, nueva mujer. Prendes el cerillo, enciendes esperanzas, mides el volumen de los nuevos pasos que caminan hacia el cambio. El gas escapa y tú firme con la hoguera en alto, todo explota, todo estalla y tú estás ahí. Mi nombre no es AB 540 y mis ganas y mis esfuerzos no la vas a degradar con tu dinero. I said my name is not AB 540. And you will not degrade my determination and my struggle with your currency. Because currently, you pamper special interests and men in suits who juggle the people's hopes and trust. Jesters making gestures, ridiculing masses behind classes. We hold you accountable for the future of this state. Where you would rather incarcerate criminals than invest in the education of the youth so they won't become one in the first place. The cost of housing an inmate is over 30000 per year. And putting a student through college is around half that. It's apparent where your priorities lie. You focus on people who have done and not those who can do, yet expect me to forget the past? We see through your intentions and behind, behind expensive frame glasses and listen past your over-intellectualized rhetoric. And I hear I have to be patient, to have faith. But you are full of deceit, like the lie hidden in the middle of the word believe. You've given the people a sweet tooth with all the sugar coating of the truth that you've done and have the audacity to blame us for the cavity. Ya basta. We are people, not statistics. Estudiantes who are tired of being tucked in bed by idle hands from idle lands. But only a people who've been asleep for too long will accept, will accept Dream Acts instead of bright. <laughs>
and quickly realized that the name your parents gave you, Victor, didn't really fit. You became Victoria, and what place did our society have for you? It wasn't long before you tested HIV positive, but you took good care of yourself and your vital account remained low until that tragic day when you got picked up by the ICE. Despierta, una nube de color. Recuerdo gaseoso, difuso, confuso. Personaje piensa su pasado en la banca del mismo parque en el que ella. Sí, a ella le basta con la fotografía, con la imagen en blanco y negro. Lo demás es puro fatalismo inútil. Y entonces despertó de su silencio metafísico, de su ahogo mental, su náusea emocional. Quiso estar en el momento oportuno. Despertó insomne igual. Despertó, se levantó, mi fantasma, el tuyo, el que se acuesta contigo, aunque no lo creas. Respira tus sueños, golpea fuera la ventana, despierta, despierta. Una mosca choca en la ventana de la cocina, lo he olvidado. Tengo cierta nostalgia por la fatalidad, por la falsedad y las falsas alas. Ayer, el cadáver fluorescente arrastraba la basura histórica hacia la orilla de la ciudad para prenderle fuego, evitar epidemias de depresión colectiva. Juró volver para vengarse y devorar a cierto cerdo de la ciudad. Quizás no exista más. Debo recuperarme de esta transición de la metáfora. Quizás sea un fantasma, el mismo en que se pasea por los corredores de la casa y canta cuando...